Investigators say they found body parts at the Steve Fawcett crash scene. What, what should we say? You found no remains or you found some remains? Very little. Enough for I, DNA? Yes. I believe the uh, coroner will be able to uh, do some work. Are they still searching? Yes, that's the what the dogs are doing. There seems to be some disagreement between federal authorities and the sheriff's department about that discovery. Hours after the leader of the NTSB had said the remains were those of a person, the Madeira County Sheriff said he didn't know if they were human remains. Search crews located the wreckage of Fawcett's aircraft in California's rugged eastern mountains. But given the large amount of wildlife in the area, they were skeptical about their chances for finding remains. The downed plane was discovered about a quarter mile from where the adventurer's pilot license and other belongings were found earlier this week. Officials say it appears he hit the mountainside head on. Fawcett took off on a solo flight from Nevada just over a year ago, and no one ever heard from him again. Equipped with expensive technology, crews combed a 20,000 square mile area for months, but their efforts turned up empty, and the adventurer was declared legally dead in February. Even with so many pieces of the puzzle now in place, NTSB officials say they still have a lot of work to do. This investigation, as it relates to the examination of the parts, the engine, flight controls, will take some time. Could be as much as another six months. On Friday, federal officials will return to the crash site to remove what's left of the plane from the side of the mountain. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.